Call 1, practice paper 6, question number 5. Sketch on the same diagram these two graphs. Now, we haven't checked lately if I'm writing down the whole question. So, do have this with you and do be checking as we go along. Yes, I've got the, all of the information there, so my worksheet is complete. Label clearly where the graphs cut each axis. Now really that statement is unnecessary because I would hope that's what you would do for the examiner anyway. But that's the examiner trying to say to you, hey, if you want your marks, do the question properly. To sketch a graph we need to find it where it cuts the x-axis and the y-axis. So let's have a start at that then, shall we? This can be considered as this. So we can say it cuts x-axis when y equals 0, when x equals 3. So because the two answers are the same, it means to say that this is a quadratic equation producing a parabola shape, which of course could be up the other way, producing a parabola shape and it touches the x-axis at 3. Now let's see where it cuts the y-axis. And it cuts the y-axis when x equals 0. So if you put x equals 0 into there and x equals 0 into there, you get minus 3 times minus 3. Or x equals 0 into there, and you get minus 3 squared, which is plus 9. So that will tell me that it is a parabola up this way. So let's sketch the graph. doesn't need a ruler. Use a ruler if you're not very good at drawing straight lines doesn't need an accurate scale as long as you can show the information so I need 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so if I label that as 9 I need an even number it all the way up what else do I need I need uh, 3 don't I so I'll go 1 2 3 that'll do it's a parabola so a parabola is symmetrical so in fact I'll go 4, 5, 6 as well because I can then plot this point up here so that will give me on my parabola it's got to go through that point it's got to touch there and it's got to go through that point always label a graph especially if there's more than one graph on the diagram now what about this one y equals mx plus c is called the general equation of straight line and this is a straight line, and it tells me gradient is 2, and it tells me it cuts through the y-axis at minus 3. So in fact, I do need a little bit more on my diagram. I need to make sure I label minus 3, because it goes through there. It's got a gradient of 2, so in fact I can plot that point there at 1 minus 1, so that'll have a gradient of 2, and it'll also go through that point there. So that will do for a sketch. Do you know what? I think I'd use a ruler there, but I haven't got one handy. So uh, let's make sure that is down. That's not too bad. And label it. Right. Always, before you move on to the next question or to the next part of the question, Check to see if you've done everything you've been asked to do. The temptation sometimes is you think you've finished, it feels good, done that, move on. But before you move on, it's always worth just checking by reading the question again and saying to yourself, have I done what has been asked of me? And in fact you'll find that I haven't. Because I haven't said where this straight line cut the x-axis. It does in fact cut x-axis when y equals 0. In other words, 0 equals 2x minus 3. Add 3 to both sides. So x 
is in fact one and a half. So if I don't label that, I'm not getting all the points I've been offered. This extra piece of working out really was for my benefit and your benefit and the examiners to see what I'm thinking. Although it's not going to get me many marks because in fact there's only two marks for this. There'll be a half a mark for each of the points on the axes which are important. Now I've finished the question so I can move on to the next part. And if you want to see the rest of this question and in fact the whole of this exam paper, practice paper number six, then you'll need to visit www.mathtutor.biz and buy yourself the set two core one which has got practice paper three no, practice paper four, five and six in it. But that's up to you. Be nice to hear from you though. www.mathtutor.biz